Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is another very exciting video. I'm going to be testing out the Hey Bud Australian Hemp Clay Mask. So on their website, the Australian Hemp Clay Mask retails for $44.99 at the moment. It was originally $59.99. So you're saving about, saving about $10 at the moment. Plus they have a Boxing Day sale, which I think runs up until like the new year. So they claim that it tightens your pores, removes your pimples, creates glowing skin, is vegan and cruelty free, which I absolutely support and love. They have free worldwide shipping and money back guarantee, which is really cool. I just had a clip of like a close up of how my skin is looking at the moment. Um, I've got a couple breakouts on my skin, nothing too horrendous at the moment, thank goodness, especially during this Christmas period. But I've just got a couple on my chin that I kind of saw and like a couple of scars and little like scabs on my face from when I was like picking up my pimples which I know wasn't that great especially this little baby right here on my cheek she is a doozy and my pores are pretty huge at the moment on my face unfortunately it just is what it is I guess during this hot weather they like to really open up and spread their wings so what I was really attracted to and like drawn to reviewing this product and trying out this product was that they are quite a natural clay mask they don't have a lot of interesting or nasty ingredients in there so basically in the clay mask it is 100% vegan cruelty free which I appreciate it has hemp oil avocado oil goji berry extract and kaolin clay so I know kaolin clay is really good as like a detoxifier it's really good at like drawing out the impurities from the skin and helps with reducing redness and reducing acne as well. I like that they've listed with each of the ingredients like what it's used for. So on their website, if you go into like the ingredients part, it tells you, you know, why they've chosen those hand-picked ingredients to put into the clay mask. But they've used hemp seed oil, which is like the main, I think, product of the clay mask. I like that they've written it will not get you high. <laughs> That's funny. It's a great moisturiser and it firms, rejuvenates and tightens your skin and can repair stressed and dehydrated and damaged skin. Avocado oil is a great moisturiser as well and it contains nutrients such as potassium which is supposed to support new skin cell growth which I found is really interesting so I'm going to be eating more bananas, hopefully that'll help. The goji berry extract is supposed to assist in rejuvenating the skin and help create a youthful and radiant glow. Ooh, how sweet almond oil. So this is supposed to help benefit the skin as it has vitamin E and vitamin A, protein, potassium and zinc, which also helps protect against the UV radiation damage. Ooh. It's got aloe vera, matcha green tea, which probably gives it that green color to the actual face mask. So interestingly, the matcha green tea reduces acne. It was showed over a study over an eight week period that it reduced inflammation and acne by 89%. So that's really interesting. Of course with these face masks guys, keeping in mind you can't just apply it once and expect a miracle result. Like it's got to be a continuous thing. Also the matcha green tea helps maintain collagen levels in the skin too. That's pretty cool. It's got a few different things guys so you can have a bit of a read and everything. I'll leave the link down below. I do recommend having a bit of a read. It's quite interesting for the different ingredients. I mean, I find it very interesting why people choose the ingredients that they do and like what it does to the skin. Anywho, let's get on with the actual demo and review of the clay mask. So it comes in this gorgeous, I love the packaging so much. I love how they've used a little weed sign on the top, that's so funny. And it tells you how to use on like the back of the box. So it says apply to clean, dry skin and let the natural high <laughs> they call it that. They're so clever that they've used that with the hemp because I'm, you know. And you let it soak for 10 minutes, so I shall be doing that. And you, if you have oily skin, you want to apply it two to three times a week. If you have dry or sensitive skin, apply it one to two times a week. So I'm more on the oily side, so I'll be trying it out for two to three times a week. It tells you here it is hemp. Kaolin, vegan, cruelty free, avocado oil and goji. So these are all the main ingredients on here. And then inside it comes with a little like cap. Took it off before, it is like so sticky. So that's gonna be an interesting feel on the skin. And what I like, let me just grab it where I put it. It came with a little brush as well, how cute. And it comes with its little logo on the brush too. This is so cute. I do have a brush like this, but I do appreciate getting, of course, getting given another one. This one actually feels really nice. And it will apply the mask quite smoothly. I mean, I hope it does. 
So you can see it's like like a really sticky kind of texture. Ooh, it feels quite cooling. Mmm, it's quite a fresh scent to it. It doesn't smell chemically. Ooh, I just got it in my hair. And I'm just applying quite a thin but generous layer all over the skin. I love doing face mask reviews, guys. I am such a pamper queen. I love pampering my skin. Without the time, like, I'll have a bath, light some candles, and put on a face mask, and that is my jam for the evening. Like, oh, it's just so nice. This actually feels really good on the skin. It has a cool, coolish effect to it. Like, it's quite refreshing on the skin. It doesn't feel, like, uncomfortable so far. I assume it's going to dry down to like a white finish. It looked like that on the Instagram page, like from all the photos and stuff. It looked like it dried down to like a white finish, so we'll see how that goes. And the brush is actually applying it quite nicely to the skin. It's great that it protects against like UV ray damage, because I just think that's the biggest thing. Especially for like my white Caucasian skin, like I'm always trying to protect it against the sun. I've applied like a generous amount over this like scab here to see if it'll help. Like I know it won't be like an instantaneous thing, but I wanted to try and help heal that up for New Year's in the next few days because I want to have some good skin for the New Year's party. <laughs> what are you guys doing for New Year's if it hasn't already passed? Or what did you get up to for New Year's? So I mean you can apply it with a brush, I think it would apply normally as well with the finger. I'm usually not too phased when it comes to like mask application if I use a brush or my fingers. I mean if I'm in a rush I'll always go with my fingers but if I have the time I always like to just be a bit extra and use the brush. So I'm going to do what the uh, instructions said, I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes, I might even leave it just for a smidge bit longer. So I'm going to set my timer and I'll be back in Ten minutes. Let's see how this little baby performs, shall we? Hey guys, it's been about ten minutes or so. As you can see, it still has a little bit of um drying to do still, but I'll probably like take it off. I think I may be made it a little bit thick in some areas, but you'll live and you'll learn. So right now it's quite tight on the skin, especially like around the jawline area and the forehead, and even around my eyes. So it's a tight mask but I mean that's most of the clay masks that you'll find tend to do that it's just going to draw all the impurities out so it says to remove it gently with a like warm wet like cloth so I'm going to go and remove the mask and I'll be right back oh gosh that was so tight right then the smile <laughs> okay guys so I'm back um just as you can see probably straight off the bat I have a little bit of redness um, I always seem to get it in this area. It must be the most detoxifying area because I know when you put on a detoxifying like skin mask, especially clay masks, because they're so um, powerful, I guess the word is, they're really effective at withdrawing the toxins and everything from the body. But as they do that, it kind of leaves a bit of redness on the skin for about five to ten minutes afterwards, I find. So I was kind of expecting redness. I always seem to get redness when I do these um, reviews just from the detoxifying process I guess because my skin goes to back to normal within like 10 minutes or so so it doesn't really like phase me all that much. What I was so stoked with is the fact that my pores have shrunken. Oh my god they look so good. They're a lot more tighter and smaller. I even feel like around my nose I still have blackheads so it didn't do anything for those, though it didn't really say it did. I was just kind of hoping, like, fingers crossed it would help with removing those. But the pores even around, like, here are smaller. Definitely around my cheeks are defo smaller, which I'm so happy with. The scab's feeling a lot more smoother and, like, moist rather than, like, dry and scratchy and scabby feeling, you know? And my skin overall just feels so soft and smooth. It feels so good. But yeah, so these are my final thoughts. Uh, if you guys do want to purchase the product, I'll leave down below their website and all that kind of information, all that jazz. If you want to check out any of their information or anything like that, because I do recommend it. It is very interesting. It's good to know what you're putting on your skin. If you do happen to purchase the product, please leave down below what your thoughts are on it, if you found it effective or not for healing up your skin, whatever it may be, like dryness, irritation, redness, acne, whatever that 
comes under let me know what you thought otherwise have an awesome day guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you very soon bye